ethics of rock climbing, being quiet when others are sending a really hard route. Who would have thought that this was one of those ethical things that you need to do, even if you are not with that person, even if you don't know who those people are, even if they're about 50 to 100 meters away from you doing an entirely different route. It is just ethically polite or respect given when somebody is trying to send a really complicated, really difficult graded route that you pretty much stand, be quiet, and even be a little bit in awe. Perfect for personally, I don't believe that this is something that is okay because there could be many really hard routes and people are climbing all at the same time. So this was something that I didn't understand until I was obviously in an area where somebody was sending a really hard route. Um, but I guess, you know, it is a little bit of respect. You wouldn't like just cross in their path or whatnot. Um, just keep that in mind. I don't know if you really want to put it to the test and be completely quiet and like, you know, church, like awe. that is up to you. Personally, I didn't really understand that particular unwritten ethic that people are obviously aware of and I'm just learning of. But keep it in mind, and especially if your kids are really telling you to, I guess don't argue with them on it and just be like, okay, stand there quietly and enjoy the atmosphere and enjoy just simply being there with your kid or watching a professional climber because usually those really hard rocks, hard routes are managed by quote unquote pro climbers, whatever that may mean for a lot of people. But that's something that I did notice is something that you need to think about.